With the SS Badger getting ready for another season on Lake Michigan, two projects are in their final phase of completion. And just in time, the Badger's new dock needs more work, and the city's navigation beacon got swept away earlier in the year, possibly creating more problems. Local 5's John Donald tells us if all the construction will be done in time. The sailing season is creeping up on May 10th. And despite the lack of landscaping, the SS Badger's new and improved Manitowoc dock is just about ready for its first ship. It's a $9 million job with a tight deadline, but luckily for the city, a 100-year-old family-run contractor is right in town. Projects like this are kind of right up our alley. The old dock was well beyond its life expectancy. They would kind of been limping by over the past few years, putting Band-Aids on it, but it it needed, it needed to be replaced. The SS Badger pretty much acts like a continuation of Highway 10 across Lake Michigan, and it has historical value. The SS Badger is the last coal-fired steamship operating on the Great Lakes. Earlier in the year, violent waves ravaged the coastline, wrecking a nearby navigational beacon. The Coast Guard plans to have a temporary beacon up by Memorial Day, but a full replacement will cost close to $300,000 and take about two years to put in place. Beacon or no beacon, that won't delay the Badger. I haven't heard any concerns from the Badger folks about needing it for navigation purposes. In fact, the new systems will speed the Badger up. The old wall is mostly wooden and didn't make for the smoothest docking. The new steel wall acts like a big shock absorber. They'll be able to push up against this fender system or rely upon it in order to dock, and uh, that's going to make their operation just a lot more uh, stress-free, headache-free, and, and again, uh, quicker and safer. Reporting in Manitowoc, John Dommel, Local 5 News. And the SS Badger will test the new dock on May 9th.